All new tonight, a South Florida man paid his rent on time, but then the rental office was robbed and his money was long gone. That was just the start of his trouble, so he called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. His name is Sean Lacari, a good Italian boy, and you know what that means. He knows a thing or two about cooking. I love cooking. Yeah, I love working in the restaurant business. I've been doing it for over 20 years. Sean's a good One, cook, two, a good three. father, and a good all provider, right. which is why he makes sure to pay all his bills on time. Never been late. Never been late. Pay my bills on time all the time. In January, Sean got three money orders to pay the rent, two that were $500 each and the third for $5. He then took them to the rent office and put them in the drop box. We made it out to 72 West. We wrote on the money orders, all three of them, you know, 72 West. And then? And then it was stolen. Somebody supposedly went in there with a wire hanger and a sticky substance and stole my money orders and supposedly three or four other residents. Strangely, Sean's $500 money orders had disappeared, but he says the $5 money order was left in the rent box. And one of Sean's neighbors called Help Me Howard and told us, his money orders were stolen also. And supposedly three or four other residents. The residents who paid with money orders took their receipts to show the proof to the rental office. But more bad news. They were told they had to pay their January rent again. This is ridiculous. You know, I made out the three money orders to 72 West. You know, I can't help that they were stolen. I did my job as a resident and I paid you guys like I always do. I see. You love, you love. Sean thought he had won and that was the end of it. Then he went to pay February's rent. They're like, you have an outstanding balance. And I'm like, why would I have an outstanding balance? I can't help you guys. Dropbox was stolen out of. Sean still refused to pay January's rent. Next thing he knew, he got a three-day eviction notice and was told they would not accept his March rent. It's troubling. It, it's aggravating. You know, I, it's, it's really stressful, you know, and my wife's very nervous about it. And, it, it's upsetting for me. Well, Howard, if you pay rent and it's stolen, do you have to pay again? Absolutely not. Once you put that rent money in the box that the landlord provides legally, it's in their possession and the rent is paid. If it disappears, that's the landlord's problem. I talked to the corporate office that oversees 72 West and Tamarack. They were great. A representative told me that people like Sean and the owners of the property were both victims. They said they believe legally they were in the right to ask the residents to pay, but they did what Sean wanted. The residents whose money orders disappeared do not have to pay January rent again, and the office accepted their March rent. They did ask Sean to do one thing, request the information to find out who cashed his money orders. We mailed out the stubs to Western Union. We should be getting them back, you know, within the month. You know, and that way we can find out who stole them once they trace them. I like when you share. Sean is happy after that call to help me, Howard. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, help me, Howard. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Channel 7 News. You know, this is awesome. Bye-bye. Cute little guy. By the way, the drop box has been removed from the apartment complex, and Sean says from now on, he's handing his payment to someone in the office. Also, remember your lease should tell you the options you have to pay your rent. Follow those rules in case the money disappears. Forced to pay a bill that's left your money out of order? Want to deposit it with someone? Drop it in our box and let's see if we can cook up a nice legal recipe for you. This helped me Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.